skills to use today. And remember, more or less, these are actually subheadings, and there are any number of additional drills that you can add for each individual skill we're working on. Let's get saddled up, go outside, we'll split, and get started. Go with Sonia. Let's go Upper Warm Springs, I-80, meet on the top of Squirrel. <laughs> what we're talking about is, is a nice parallel position with our tips having our, our, our tip of our ski on our uphill ski is slightly forward from our downhill ski, which means that our knees are slightly forward here, hips are slightly forward, hands are out, looking down the hill slightly rounded shoulders, right? So here's a nice flex position, ready to go. Is when you pivot your feet, make sure they both release. No stemming, okay? I want to see their feet pivoting from one side to the other without a stem and for it to be very slippy and edgy. So, and also within a corridor to see if they have good balance and they're not moving fore and aft. There's a lot of things we're looking at. Where could you take somebody if they could start getting that? Bumps. Bumps. Ah, uh -huh. You get people in the bumps and they're a little bit uncomfortable and they're doing this with their arms and they're, they're over rotating. It's like, where were our arms the entire time? They were here and it didn't matter what direction our feet were going, right? They were just down the hill. I'm gonna see you all and pivot both feet. The pivot slip, working on rotary, upper and lower body separation, very important drill. All of these different Topics, that's the right word, um, have not just one associated drill, like I picked one out of the hat, if you will, for each thing, but there's many. So like, for instance, one that we could do right now is falling leap, really feeling that fore-aft movement while still being in a good position. actually picked a little bit harder one which is tip to tail so what you're actually doing is as you're finishing the turn you go to your tail and then you put your 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 ski down and you raise up on your tip and you roll and then you go to your tail so you're actually moving your ski their turn, thump, 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 and finish a turn, thump, thump, thump. As you get higher end, you should be able to thump all the way through the turn or start in the middle of the turn thumping and then try to keep moving it up um, from initiation to turn. There's, there's different ways to pole plant. Like sometimes you're doing offensive and sometimes you're doing defensive. I think ski racing and USSA is probably a more offensive sport, wouldn't you agree? So let's do offensive pole planning. <laughs> and what I mean by that is as you're finishing the turn and you're ready to come up into the new turn. The swing is your movement up. The flatten to the edge change is your tap. The basics to it is when you're finishing the turn, you've got your hand on your hip and your other hand high in the hair, and you're pushing in. You're kind of like pushing your hip, you're raising this one, and you're like, wah, right? And then the cool thing is, and don't get too like this, it's more like pressing it naturally, right? So you're, you're light on your inside foot, and you're here, 
And then what is so cool is you move up and forward in the turn and then you clean your hands. diving in, which is actually what we're doing on the next drill, um, you're actually starting the turn with your inside ski and getting it <laughs> and then halfway through the turn you're ending on your new downhill ski. It's called the white pass turn. Yeah, right? he's doing, yes, yeah. perfect. Drop That's it down. The Pretty good. Drop. This is invented by the Mayer brothers from white, they, they skied out at ski race out of white pass. And they, this is the reason why they won the Olympics. So, because they, they were moving into the top of the turn and projecting themselves down the top of the, into the top of the turn better. And then they were able to um, win. <laughs> so look at Rod. What I want you to do is to be able to project yourself into the top of the turn and then angulate as you drop into the bottom of the turn. Nice, Rod. Last drill we're going to work on today is basically the capstone drill in USSA. And it's done everywhere from lower river run to skiing down the bowls doing GS turns. It's called the up and over. Basically, the way this drill works is I have just completed a left-footed turn. I think I'm gonna need a pull. So what I'm gonna do is, soon as I finish that left footed turn, I'm gonna pick my left foot up. But I wanna see your tip down. I don't wanna see it hanging like this, and I don't wanna see your tail down. If, I, if your tail's down, what does that mean? Yep. Here I'm neutral, here I'm forward. Then we will move up and forward into a turn, holding this foot up all the way through the turn. Then what we do upon completion of the turn, we put it down and I'll raise the right one as I start into the next turn. is athletic stance and we were doing some traverses just to make sure that we were in good body position. Beyond that then we would did some pivot slips and the reason why we do pivot slips is to make sure that our stance is good while in motion. The next drill we did was a tip to tail drill which was really focusing on fore and aft movements. We worked on pressure and balance and the pressure and balance is um, what we really keyed in on is the thumper drill. The next thing we did was timing. Timing is using your pull plant, pull touch. You're gonna use your pull swing to lead you up and forward into the turn, and then you're gonna use the pull touch as the point of transition or dropping into the new turn. The following drill that we did was called a slopey drill. This is for pressure. It's actually where you physically put your hand on your hip and your inside hand up and forward. The two last drills that we did, one was the white pass turn. What that is, is creating movement forward, it's projection. The final drill that we did is called the up and over drill or the step up and edge drill. This is a drill that the US ski team requires you to do in order to become a ski team member. For our guys, it will really help them become much better skiers and then through that, become better instructors. So I think it was a, it was a great clinic and uh, everybody seemed to be really receptive to what we were doing.